Hey you all, it's Ashley with Fleet Feet, and today we're gonna to talk about how to know when your shoes are worn out. This is a really important topic, and it's not always as straightforward as it seems. And here's the thing, running shoes don't last forever. Sure, they're tough. They take us mile after mile after mile, but they get squashed on the asphalt, they get scraped up, they get caked in mud, they get left out in the sun, they get sweated in and left in your car, and all kinds of beat up and each one of those things takes life off of your shoes. Okay, so how do you tell if your shoes are worn out? This is a great question, and in fact, I think the best place to start this video is with my good friend Luis, who texted me the other day to ask me if his shoes were worn out. He said, you know, Ashley, my feet have really been hurting when I'm running. My arches hurt, I don't feel good, I'm really having a hard time. I asked him to send me a picture of the bottom of his shoes. Oh my gosh, you all. The tread on the bottom of his shoes was pancake flat. But rather than take my word for it, I asked Luis to film this so you all could see it. And Luis is also a guy behind the camera a lot with Fleet Feet videos, so you may not recognize his face, but you will recognize his work. All right, hey Luis. Hi guys, I'm Luis, and these are my shoes. As you can see, they're very worn out, but believe it or not, I didn't know that these were absolutely and completely done. I was still running with them until Ashley told me that I should definitely stop after I said that my feet were hurting. So this is why this video is being made. So after we identified the problem with Luis's shoes, they were way too old. He had no business wearing them anymore. He went into Fleet Feet in Delray, Florida, stepped onto the Fit ID scanner, and was hooked up with a new pair of shoes that really fit his foot. If you want to learn more about our outfitting process, I've linked to more information about that in the description below. But lo and behold, Luis left the store, went for a long run the next day, and guess what? He felt great. And that's the thing, while shoes are a very simple piece of gear, having shoes that fit well and aren't dead, as they say, is really important to making sure that you're running healthy and happy. All right, so let's run through some ways to tell if your running shoes are worn out. So number one is exactly what Luis was feeling, some nagging aches and pains in his feet and his joints. While nagging pains can always be a sign of other injuries, it's a good idea to start with your shoes. Now, if your pain persists for more than one run, like it did in Luis's case, it might be time for a new pair of shoes. Now you may not be feeling those aches and pains, but every step might feel flat. That's because the bouncy midsole of a new pair of shoes or shoes with life left in them absorbs the impact of every step. And this saves your feet and your joints from taking an extra beating. As your shoes age though, the foam loses its ability to rebound like it used to, and it really starts to feel like you've sort of put a brick on top of a marshmallow. It's not a good feeling. You may notice some uneven wear pattern on the bottom of your shoes. That's probably a sign that it's time to get a new pair. If that wear pattern has removed lugs and is digging into the midsole of the shoe, it might also be a sign that you're not wearing the right shoes for you. When you notice a weird wear pattern on the bottom of your shoes, it's a good idea to take that pair with you to the store when you get outfitted. The outsoles of your running shoes have tread just like the tires on your car, and that helps to cushion your landings and grip the pavement. But the ground is abrasive, especially if you primarily run on concrete and asphalt. If your soles sport bald patches and excessive wear, they won't serve you as well as a new pair. But how long do they actually last anyways? Unfortunately, the answer is not all that clear. If you take really good care of your shoes, and that means that you keep them indoors in a climate controlled environment, like you don't leave them outside when they're wet and sweaty and caked in mud, you let them dry out, you even clean them off because all of that mud covering the outsole can really be abrasive to the upper of the shoe. If you're really hard on your shoes, like unfortunately I often am, your shoes are going to last less miles. All of that said, most running shoes will last anywhere from 300 to 500 miles. And that's a really big window. That's a 200 mile window. The other issue that comes into play here is also the amount of time that you have shoes. Again, while running shoes are very durable, the materials themselves also break down over time. So if you're trying to hoard your favorite model of a certain shoe and you buy six pairs thinking that the newest pair you wear in a year from now is still going to be great, 
think again. Even an unworn shoe a year later is going to be broken down. And that's just because materials break down over time. Knowing all of this, how can you help to make your shoes last longer? Number one is a really simple one. Run on the surface for which your shoes were designed. So if you have a pair of trail shoes, don't go wearing them on the pavement all the time because those thick lugs are going to get worn down quicker. Same thing for road shoes. Don't go taking them on really burly single track trails where you have lots of mud and rocks and river crossings. Also dry them out and clean them up. We touched on that a little bit earlier, but again, this is important because it helps to keep the upper of the shoes and the materials fresh for longer. And finally, this is gonna sound like a ploy to make you buy more shoes, but it's really not. This next point is one of the most important ones and it's really rooted in biomechanics. Buy more than one pair of shoes. Any coach worth their salt will tell you this, and that's because every shoe is made differently. And there are multiple types and brands of shoes that best fit your feet. The value of having multiple pairs of shoes is one, for the shoe's longevity, because you're switching back and forth between multiple pairs, which allows you to extend the life of those shoes. And two, because shoes are made differently, the way that you land on each foot while you're running is different depending on the brand. So let's just say one type of shoe, you may have a little bit more pressure in your right big toe or maybe coming up your calf. Maybe in a different shoe that you wear regularly, you feel that pressure point a little bit on the outside of your calf and you start to work the muscles in your ankles a little bit differently. Just something as simple as changing up the pressure points where you land is just another important factor in helping you you to be a more balanced, injury-resistant runner. You had no idea you were going to be getting biomechanics tricks and tips in this video, did you? Okay, and while rotating between two pairs of shoes is great, if you can do it, we recommend three pairs. That way you have a light, fast pair that you may use for your speed days, you have a really soft, cushioned, just plush shoe for your recovery days, and then kind of like a middle of the road, can handle the miles, can stand up a durable trainer just to put in the bulk of your daily miles. Now we're gonna take a look at some of my shoes so you can see some of the wear patterns and places where they're wearing down. All right, I have several good examples here. The first one is a pair of Hoka's I have been running in for probably 150, 200 miles or so. They're still in pretty good condition. The bottom you can see is somewhat worn. I have a little bit of scuffing away of the tread here. And at the back of the heel here, you can see where I really drag my foot when I run. But overall, if you look at the tread, we still have a pretty good amount. And we see in the middle here where I have, um, where I tow off during my run, I'd say I have another 150 to 200 miles left in this pair. The upper is also in really good condition. It has gotten muddy, but I have cleaned it off. This New Balance 860 is a pair I have been wearing quite a bit recently. This is a shoe that I use as just like a really hard worker, just put in my easy miles, like the bulk of my training miles. The upper you can see is in pretty good shape. Actually, it's in really good shape. And the bottom tread is holding up really well. You can see again where I scuff a little bit, but there's not really much there. And up in the front, you can see just a little bit here where I've towed off. I have, again, about 200 miles in this shoe. The next one I'll show you is a pair of Mizunos. I've only put in a few miles, just a few runs in these so far. While the tread is a little bit dirty, these shoes are very new and have several hundred miles left to go. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed today's video, please like it and consider sharing it. Also subscribe to our channel to be the first to know about new videos that we post almost every week. And if you have any questions about how long your running shoes last or how to find the right pair of shoes, please comment below. We'll get back to you. Thanks you all and have a great day.